Hi. <laughs> I am in like, I just feel so weird today. I'm just like hyper, I think. I'm just like, ah. Anyway, so for today's video, we are doing phone charms. And before we start, I, I don't want to say I told you so, but I'm going to say I told you so. Look back at my video, DIY gift ideas. I did it in October of 2020. And in that video, I said that phone charms are going to be the next thing. When I was in junior high, everyone had these little charms that would dangle off their phones and they were super fun to use. So I don't know why they're not popular anymore. So I'm bringing them back. Here we are. I called it. I totally called it. And you know why I called it? I lived through the 2000s and phone charms were like a huge deal in the 2000s. Like 2007, I was in seventh grade. I had a phone charm and it was like the coolest thing ever. Here we are today and phone charms are trending. So I guess that means that maybe I'm calling some trends. Huh? Oh, the other thing is I love beads and this is like the perfect activity for me because I love using my beads and showing people my beads, so. How many times can I say beads? Beads, beads, beads. Let's get started making the phone charms. Okay. <laughs> Did you really think I could start making phone charms without showing you my bead collection first? So this is just a small amount of beads that I have. I love beads. I think these are so pretty. I love the sound that they make when you touch them. Enough said. This is a separate pack of string and I also had some loose runaway beads over there. I got them, guys. I thought these ones looked cool and I'm dropping them all. This string in particular is cool because it's very stretchy. So it's like a rubber band, basically. Is that a piece of my hair? Oh my God! I'm taking out my tangled ball of keychains, trying to undo that for too long. I think I got it. Oh, uh, no, wait, maybe not. And pushing that to the side again. Up first, we have my beloved pack of purple beads. I started off with the biggest gem and then knotted the end. I did this because I realized that each of the beads had different holes with different sizes, so I wanted to make sure the big one would stay on. We need to make sure things are nice and secure. We don't want any runaway beads. And then after that, I kind of just picked random beads and would slide them on. I did not plan out how big I wanted the phone charm to be, so I did that here. As always, when I start an arts and craft project, I just, I'm not a big planner, I'm more of a doer, and then I figure it out while I'm doing it. That really does lead me to some tragic mistakes. Oh no, I think I did something wrong. This bead would not fit onto the string, and I realized that like half of these beads do not fit on this elastic, but that's okay. I just had to improvise a little bit and use the beads that I was able to use. You'll notice that a majority of these beads went on smooth as butter, but there's a couple of them that really were giving me a very hard time. I think the plastic kind of sealed them in and I had to scrape off the plastic to get it through. And finally, I got the bead on. On a first glance, I really don't have a pattern here, and that is true. I kind of just went like medium size, medium size, small size, small size, and then put a really large one. So there is a pattern, but it's not visual. What? My pattern, quote unquote, was more based on the size of the beads, but even then, there's really no pattern here. I've recently discovered that although I like looking at patterns, I don't really like creating things with patterns. I can't do the same thing over and over again. Yeah, I just like doing whatever I feel like doing at the time. This giant gem. I mean, this one is so cool. This is part of the reason I love this bead set because they have these huge purple gems that are so shiny. Once all the beads were on, I tied the two ends together so that I had a complete circle. I used a scissor to cut off the excess string. And here we have the final phone charm before I put the keychain on it. Really struggling to hold it here. I personally really like the colors on this one. I like how shiny it is. And then here's the keychain. I just used that little clippy thing and clipped it onto the string. Okay, I'm done. This phone charm is stretchy, which did get quite annoying. It's a fun sensory experience, but when you actually go to hold your phone, you can't. Falls to the ground. So it depends what you want. I want to be able to hold my phone by the phone charm. However, if you want to have a fun time swinging your phone charm around and fidgeting with it, this could be the thing for you. 
Up next, I took out my rainbow string. This is not stretchy. I measured it to the size that I wanted it and cut it. For this phone charm, I wanted to do something more colorful. So the first thing I did was knotted the end of the string. I also took out my happy face and ladybug. And then I started trying to spell things with my letters. I don't know. There was really nothing I could spell. We got Rob, Bop, Yum. Yes, I went with Yum. Let me explain my thought process here, because Bop, I think, could have been an okay one. I was trying to pick a trendy, quote-unquote, trendy word, and I feel like people always use words like Zoom, peace, or good vibes. I don't know what's trendy, but I feel like yum is funny, because you know what we all need? Food. We all encounter a time where we say, hmm, is this food yummy? Could this possibly be yum? I realize that I am the only one that will think that this is funny, but oh well, yum, yum it is. It's a trendy word to me. It's trendy in my heart. Anyway, as I'm sure you've noticed, I just picked things that were very colorful, very chunky, and random. Randomness is underrated, sign my petition. The end of the string did get frayed, so I had to cut it off. I added this rainbow charm, I'm pointing it out because it's one of my faves. After I was done putting all the beads on the string, then I knotted the two parts of the string together. I cut off the excess string, took the keychain, and clipped it onto the phone charm, and this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I really like this thing, and I really like that it says yum. Here's what the phone charm looked like on my actual phone. And yes, I was able to hold the phone by the phone charm. It was like I was holding a purse. I actually walked around town using this phone charm last weekend. I know it kind of might look childish to some people, but I really like it. Last but not least, we're using my pearl beads. I really like this one. This one's so good. Okay, so I used a clear string. The clear string is also not stretchy. I was not a big fan of the stretchiness, so I just went with something that wasn't stretchy this time. Because all of the beads in the set are pearls, it did end up looking like this phone charm had a pattern to it. I also was using these metallic butterflies and making sure that they were evenly spaced. This bead set also comes with a ribbon, and I tied the ribbon every once in a while and made a bow. My hair just got in the shot. I have tried approximately five times to describe the pattern that I did, and I'm just not gonna try. Just look at it. There's pearls, there's a metallic, and then there's three bows. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Anyway, after beating the beads, I then tied together the two pieces of string, cut off the excess pieces of the string, and took out my keychain. I clipped that keychain on. Lastly, I took out some glue and glued down the ends of the ribbon just to avoid any potential for fraying. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I really like this phone charm because it's definitely more thin, girly, and delicate. I really like that it matches my phone case so well. Here are all three of the phone charms that I did for this video. I am obsessed with all three of them. I like them for different reasons, and I think they're all really cool looking. I definitely used this colorful one at first, but I think I'm definitely gonna put this pearl one on my phone case right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have my other series linked in these two boxes if you guys wanna check them out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.